Do you have to get a hard copy briefcase? No, but you can get a soft-sided laptop bag or computer bag or something like that. I see these younger kids now carrying backpacks around, but I want you to have something that is going to have everything you need to do a deal. You're listening to 5-Hour Real Estate Week, where you'll learn to consistently buy real estate in only five hours a week. So if you're ready to invest in real estate, achieve financial freedom, and own the lifestyle you deserve, even with your job, this is the show for you. Now, here's your host, Mike Butler. Okay, and hello there, and welcome to the 5-Hour Real Estate Week podcast. I'm Mike Butler, and today's topic is going to be your investor buying crash kit. Now, first of all, my voice is a little bit still gone, and I've been out of commission here. I caught the COVID, but I survived, and um, so that's why I'm a little bit late catching back up on these. But here we go. So your investor buying crash kit. So think about this. Think about EMS and fire department, different things, and my, my wife being a nurse. So back when I was in uniform, sometimes we would assist EMS on emergency runs. And so if somebody was having a heart problem or some kind of health emergency, EMS pulls up in front of the location and the paramedics or what have you, they jump out and they got a, what they call, they called it a crash kit. So maybe they had one for heart attacks. Maybe they had one for something else. I don't know. I don't even know what was in it, but the crash kit was for the most part, pertinent anything that they might need within reach of someone having a heart attack. Now, let's go to a, a hospital environment. My wife was a SICU critical care nurse, and they had what was called a crash cart. And so this buggy or cart that they had was used whenever an emergency or somebody colded. I don't know what that means, but the nurses do. And so if there was some type of emergency, they brought in this crash kit and uh, crash cart, I'm sorry, crash cart, and it would have everything they need to try to stabilize that person maybe until they could move them to the next step, okay? So let's take that whole mindset there of having a crash kit, a crash cart, and let's make one for the investors buying crash kit. And so I did this way back when, before internet, before email, things like that. And here's what I want you to do. I'm going to help you right now, show you what you need to put in there so that your investor buying crash kit, you can do a deal anywhere, anytime, 24 seven, anywhere. No longer are you going to have to say, well, let me go back to the office or let me go back and get on my computer and let me see what I can do. Okay. You should know your market. And we talked about that in some other episodes, but anyway, Here's what I did. So I went to what's called, uh, I call it Dave's Sporting Goods. It's a disabled American veterans thrift store. And maybe it's a Goodwill in your town or something else. Go in there and buy and look for an old briefcase. Now, we didn't have backpacks and all that soft-sided stuff like we do today when I got it. But I went into DAV and I bought me a couple of American tourister used briefcases. Yeah, they're kind of hard shell or what have you. And so that's what I put my investor buying crash kit in, toolkit, whatever you want to call it. And so here's what you got to do. Do you have to get a hard copy briefcase? No, but you can get a soft-sided laptop bag or computer bag or something like that. I see these younger kids now carrying backpacks around, but I want you to have something that is going to have everything you need to do a deal. Okay. And I want you to put it in the vehicles that you drive. So back in my day, okay, I was married and I had my wife's car. I had my own truck and I had my police truck. Okay. So I had three vehicles. So guess how many investor buyer crash kits that I prepared? I prepared three. Okay. So I put one in her car in the trunk. I put one in my truck, my personal truck, and I put one in my police truck. Okay. Because I drove it around pertinent near all the time anyway. So now I've got everything I need to do a deal anywhere 24 seven right now. Okay. So here's what you're going to put in it. So find out what you're going to make it out of soft sided case or briefcase, a backpack, whatever. Okay. And here's what you're going to put in it. Okay. Mike Butler has a simple one page offer and I'm going to tell you exactly how I did mine. So I got a manila folder and I put my simple one page offers, maybe 10 of them in there in a manila folder. And I put it inside this briefcase. And then I have 
authorization to release information form. Okay. You get that in the buy without banks, how to buy real estate and houses without banks, money, credit, private lenders, or partners. And you also get my simple one page offer forms in that, but get the authorization to release information form, maybe 10 of those and they go into a manila folder. In today's market, we're getting ready to see an onslaught of folks facing foreclosure, getting behind on payments and things like that. So I really love jumping loans. So I had a seven minute video, seven minute video that was on a DVD back then or CD. And it's called the ABC of jumping loans. And what it does, it's a seven minute video to show your seller to see if they want to play. Okay. And then there's a couple of docs that go with that. That's going to be in its own manila folder. Then you're going to have to have ink pens. Okay. How about business cards? Yep. Okay. And then I want you to go to Office Depot and buy a packet of like 25 business card magnets. It's just peel and stick. Okay. And don't go out and buy business cards made into refrigerator magnets because they're dull, they're too expensive and yuck. Just get the peel and stick things. Okay. Put those in your investor buying crash kit. Door hangers. You're going to get door hangers with the buy without banks home training system. And the door hangers are real sharp and cool because they allowed you to put information on there. And so let's say you find an ugly house or this and that, you can put a door hanger on there and uh, you can use it for all types of purposes, not only just buying properties and finding motivated sellers, but tenants and all kinds of other things. Okay. So door hangers are powerful. How about a flashlight? You know, you don't need one of these $300 flashlights. Go to Office Depot and I know they sell these little things in here. I've got one in my bag right now. And it's a little LED. Maybe it runs on a couple of, I don't know, double A batteries or something like that. But put a flashlight in there because sometimes the properties that you're going to go look at, maybe the electricity's off. Okay. So you might want to go in the basement and make sure it's got a furnace, <laughs> make sure it's got a water heater, make sure the copper pipe's in there. So have a flashlight. Now, when it comes to your phone, there's a cell phone app called FN, F as in Frank, N as in Nancy, FN Calculator. Go to Google Play, get that app, download it, and it's basically an HP 12C where you can cipher up loan payments, interest rates, amount of money borrowed. It is phenomenal. So put that app on your cell phone, okay? Back in the day, we didn't have cameras on our cell phones. We had bag phones, and so I would carry a camera. So in today's world, this magic little thing here called a, it's a cell phone. You've got a camera built into that. So I want you to use that, learn how to use it. And so you got to have a camera handy. So you're always going to carry that phone with you, right? So that's your camera. How about a clipboard? Put a clipboard in your investor buying crash kit, because with these forms that your motivated seller is going to be able to fill out for you, whether it's authorization to release information. If you do your simple one-page offer, you can use clipboard to write your offers up on, okay? So clipboard, and then I want you to have, until you get in the groove, okay, I want you to have a stack of extra mini piss cards, and mini piss cards are property information sheet cards. Those things are powerful, and print them on card stock. And you can also put some eight and a half by 11 property information sheets until you get in the groove of getting all this stuff organized, okay? And so that's basically what you need for an investor buying crash kit. Now, some folks will say, well, Mike, what about a measuring tape? No, I don't need that, okay? And I used to do silly things like crawl underneath houses and all that kind of stuff. You don't need to do that anymore. And I can show you how you don't have to do that. And we can still test the wood and do termite tests and all this. It was very, very simple caveman procedures. But with that one right there, guys, that is your investor buying crash kit. Load one up, put it in your car, your mama's car, your truck, whatever vehicles you drive, okay? In that way, should you be at a real estate investor meeting or you're at somewhere else and somebody wants to sell a house, somebody wants to sell it, bingo. If you know your market, and you should by reading that Sunday paper, seeing those real estate transactions, you don't have to get on a computer to know the value and you can, boom, do a deal right now, okay? If you've got to run back home, do some due diligence, find your forms, do this and that, then hook back up with your seller. If it's a deal, I tell you what, it is gone. Okay. So you got to learn how to be efficient. So investor buying crash kit. Okay. Get yours built today. Take a picture of it. Send it to me. Can't wait to do that. Now I got to do this other stuff. So, okay. I'm going to tell you this. If you got other investors, you know, share this with them. Okay. Follow me. If there's a button to follow, do that or subscribe add a comment, 
I'm not a podcast, social media kind of expert person, but, uh, if you can do that, I'd appreciate it and send me pictures of your buyer's crash kit and we'll put it up on a power launch or one of our other training sessions just for you. Okay. Adios, get out there, make some offers and make this year awesome. Bye-bye. Glad you joined us for another episode of 5-Hour Real Estate Week. The best thing you can do now is put this information to action. To help you get started, Mike created a free resource for you called How to Buy 50 Houses a Year, Even With Your Job. Download it now by going to mikebutler.com forward slash 50 houses. And we'll see you on the next episode.